What's up guys? Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. In today's video, we're going to check out an extension designed to help you quickly create line patterns in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Scribbler is a SketchUp extension designed to help you quickly create different line patterns inside of SketchUp. And so you can see how with the examples here, that basically what this does is this, take line, this takes lines and edges and it creates patterns along those lines and edges. So you can download this by visiting the SketchUp extension warehouse. Note that this is a paid extension. So it's a $9.99 one-time payment in order to get this. But if you do a lot of this kind of thing, um, it's definitely going to be worth your time. But let's take a look at how it works. And so what I've done is I've downloaded and installed this extension inside of SketchUp. And so when you pop it up, it's gonna give you four options in the Scribbler menu bar. So basically what you do, it's very simple, is you select an edge, and then with whatever pattern you want selected, you click on this button right here to scribble. And so notice what that does is that comes in here and that creates a pattern along your shape. So let's say that I wanted a different pattern. There's an option over here to select a number of the pre-built patterns that are in here. So for example, let's say this one, I wanted it to create more of a bush shape. I just click right here and it's going to create that pattern as well. And so you can use this to create patterns along curves as well as along shapes like this, along multiple sets of lines like this, or along multiple curves that have been put together like this. So it's basically going to take your different edges and it's just going to create a scribble along them. And so these are all fairly customizable. So first off, let's say that you get a scribble that you don't like. And so if you get a scribble that you don't like, this button right here is going to allow you to select it and then click in order to create a random scribble again, like this. And note that this only works on the last scribble that you created. So notice how I can't go back and do this one. I can only do it on the last one that was created right here. Not a gigantic deal, because you could also just delete it out and then rerun it too, if you didn't like the result that was created. And so let's take a look at the different patterns that are contained inside of here. And so there's a number of different patterns built into this, right? The bushes, the clouds, the fuzzies, all of that stuff. But you can select those by going into the settings. You can also adjust things like your scale, as well as your size and your amplitude and other things like that. Then you just go back and run this. So we've got seven different patterns contained in here that are going to allow you to do different things. And note that those are customizable. So let's say, for example, that you didn't want this cloud um, to have quite a big, quite such a big diameter. You could adjust this so that your minimum puff diameter is like two, your maximum is six, and it's going to create a smaller pattern in here like this. So notice how this time when I ran it, I'm getting a smaller pattern in here. Now note that with that, you do need to be a little bit careful just to make sure that you're getting the just to make sure that you're getting enough segments in here that these are actually curved, but you can kind of play around with that. It's pretty easy to do. And so if you do any kind of like landscaping or plant design, this could be a very helpful tool for creating things like trees or bushes for your diagrams, other things like that. And let's say that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in here just so you can see what they do. But let's say that you had something that you really liked that you created. So for example, let's say that I created a zigzag in here that I just really liked, right? So I'm gonna move this over and we'll just create a custom one really quick. So we'll set our scale on this one. It's gonna be one and a half. And we'll go ahead and adjust our distances a little bit. So four and seven, and four and seven. Not a giant change, but let's say that you really liked that particular setting. So for whatever reason, well, what you can do is you can go up to the Scribbler menu right here and under style, you can save the style as a custom style. So I'm going to call this spiky large. And so when you do that, the spiky large style will now show up in your Scribbler style dropdown right here. So notice how we've got the defaults in here, but I've also got the large one in here. So if I set the spiky large as a default, or if I select that one, Notice how the settings for that spiky large are now loaded in here. I can use this in order to create a new spiky pattern inside of SketchUp. So I will link to this extension in the notes down below. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you might see yourself using something like this, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.